Hello, welcome to Big Red Journeys. And on today's journey, we're here at the 2023 San Diego International Auto Show. Here's a quick look at the floor plan. Again, definitely smaller this year than in previous years. Uh, first big notice is going to be no more Camp Jeep. Is now the Nissan EV test track over here on the far corner. Uh, but we have a lot of the usual sus suspects, Toyota, Ford, Hyundai, Volkswagen, Subaru, Jeep, Chrysler, those guys are over there. Chevy, Bowtie, Nissan, Kia, Honda, Lexus. Lexus is gonna be the main luxury brand here this year. Audi is doing test drives though, so you can always test drive some of those vehicles. Marketplace, uh, some vendors with some of their wares, and the Automotive Museum as well. Well, we're gonna start off on one end of the convention floor. Right here, I see Chevy and Toyota, but I'm gonna kick it off with something a little bit different. We got the Sandy Vans over here, and those uh, camping conversion vans, field van, Sandy van. These are pretty cool, because these are the ones that take those Mercedes Sprinters, and the Dodge cargo vans, and you can see, like, just looking quickly inside, they put the camping mechanisms in there. They got the full-on kitchen, the beds, the bath, everything. And I know these guys can go upwards of like two hundred thousand dollars, maybe even a little bit more. Oh, look at this over here. Got some uh, movie-style cars. Oh, the Cars cars. Got Mater, Lightning. Should be a Mustang. Should be a Mustang. But this is the real guy right here. This is a real 1970 Plymouth Superbird. Oh, what I wouldn't give to have this vehicle. And I would even take it with all the, all the stickers and everything to make it look just like the movie. But I've always loved this vehicle. Got the super fin in the back, everything. I mean, this car was such a fast one. That's why NASCAR made it illegal to race it anymore. Oh, look who it is, it's my namesake, Red. This looks like an old, man, I don't know what year this is. Oh, they even put the sticker right there for Radiator Springs. For fans of Smokey and the Bandit, you got the 1979 Trans Am Special Edition. Classic Trans Am Firebird logo. Those tan leather seats. Oh, have some love for Herbie the Love Bug here. And of course, the unmistakable look of the General Lee from Dukes of Hazards. And solve a mystery with the gang of the Mystery Machine, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo. Haha, <laughs> that's so cute. Down to the bow tie of Chevy. Here's all the Chevrolet vehicles. I see the Silverados. I see a Colorado. Equinox. Trailblazer. Ah, the new uh, Silverado version of the electric to compete with the F-150 Lightning. Of course, the unmistakable front of an electric vehicle. I'm gonna say this early on in the video, for those who care and for matters, if you are the fan of Camp Jeep, how they always have down in the corner, the Camp Jeep is, you know, you sometimes they have hour long waits there. It is a cool thing. You get to ride in a Jeep on a all terrain vehicle uh, course. This year, Camp Jeep is not here. I'm gonna give you a moment to absorb that. They're not here this year. There's a Nissan test track for electric vehicle. Uh, we haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's definitely not the same as Camp Jeep. So if this vehicle goes out ahead of time, if in time for the convention, and you were looking forward to Camp Jeep, sorry to tell you. They're interactive as they have. You can star in your own comic strip adventure. There's a photo booth right there with a green screen. Strike a pose and be a superhero. Oh, that's pretty cool. You get to do different poses and pretend to be part of the Silverado Rocky Mountain Rescue. Well, of course, if I was to ever own a Chevy, it would probably be a Corvette. This is a beautiful one over here. This blue is a really striking blue. It's like an electric blue. Love the colors. You can actually get inside on this one. Oh yeah, look at the cockpit on that. That is, that just streams, that just scream style. I like it. A little dedication here to the 2024 Camaro. They have one right here, a convertible. Because if you're not familiar with the Chevy or GM brand, the Camaro is officially being retired after the 2024 year. So an icon has been returned from the grave and then put back to the grave. Next up is Nissan. Like I said, Nissan is going to have a test drive for their electric vehicles. 
Here is the new Nissan Z. I like the like the racing bonnet stripes right over there over the hood and the top. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're popping the hood right here. Let's take a look underneath. Yeah, just a twin turbo V6. Uh, popped some pretty good HP, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful. It's kind of like a uh, coppery rose gold color. If I had to say, this is an all-electric vehicle. I believe this is the one that you get to test drive, or I should say, get ridden in um, during the EV test drive over there. Oh, that's the vehicle right there. Oh. Look at those, look at the wheels. Oh, oh a little Nissan pickup. I'm gonna guess 85, 84 maybe. That is pretty cool. Let's see inside here. Yeah, oh that is so cool. Well, this is interesting, it's an actual clay model. Very similar to how they actually went and do the design process. Not only is it concept art, but then they do a model where they can actually test like the forms, the contours, do a little test on it through aeronautics, you know, in the wind tunnel. Like they actually, this is pretty cool. The part of the, uh, the way that they actually design and build cars. That's pretty nifty. And this one's off the Nissan Frontier. And that's a pretty one right there, the four by four. Going off into Kia area first, I have to make note of the simulator ride, the EV6 GT driving experience. This is pretty cool, it's free to do. You just gotta sign up, get in line, but it's pretty cool, you get to see, compete with others at checkpoints, see how far you can go on the times allotted. And the thing moves, which is pretty cool. Well, that's a beautiful color. The EV9 GT line all-wheel drive. It's an SUV. I love the lights here. Look at that. This is beautiful. That color is just amazing. Big fan of this one. Well, let's go see a helpful Honda dealer here. Classic Honda Blue. Ooh, that's a pretty car right there. Now, if you can't already tell, I'm just going to go to the cars that look appealing to me by color by shape design whatever what is this one the prologue okay a sign of what's to come let's see i would imagine based upon the look of it it's probably an electric vehicle but that dash is it that cockpit is very interesting got some glow there we go but look at that color it's like an aqua teal marine color wow even this blue right here this looks like a uh, pilot Pilot Trail Sport, okay. I like the blue on it. Very pretty. Lots of room, it's a three It's a three row seater. And here is Lexus. Lexus is one of the two um, luxury vehicle that are here. The other one is Audi. And in recent years, especially after COVID, the luxury vehicles have pretty much have left. BMW would be here, Mercedes, some of the larger other vehicles would be here. And ever since COVID, they've been dropping. No, I do like this one because this is a nice, it's got that shape of a true SUV. Now that's one of the reasons why I love my Bronco because that was one of the few SUVs that I felt in recent years that looks like a real SUV, not just those crossover hatchback style things. So we're kind of like a little bit of a halfway mark. Again, this year, uh, the whole convention is smaller. It's, it's considerably smaller. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, but I'm visibly, feel, I'm visibly seeing it and I'm feeling it. I would have to say it's probably at least a good 30% smaller than it was even just compared to last year. Um, so we're, going to, we're pretty much at the halfway mark after Lexus. We still got the other half going up that way at the convention center, but we got some of the vendors that are gonna be here, some of these old school Toyota vehicles as well too we'll check those out but this is really where i call vendor row sometimes there's some good stuff there most of the time he's usually guys trying to sell you direct tv and cell phones and vacation timeshare so we'll check it out we'll probably go buy it real quick free water i never knew j water was in jail so now i know that the auto show has gone to a new level because i've never had seen this before at the auto shows of all the years i've been here the Mattress Firm, 
massage chairs. Don't get me wrong, these are wonderful. I've, you know, at the fairs and everywhere I go, these are wonderful things to do, especially when you've been walking for a long time. But I've never seen them in an auto show before. You did it. Congratulations. The world's best cup of coffee. Good job, everybody. You did it. Congratulations. World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. These Land Cruisers, oh my goodness, I love these guys. With the old retro wing going on them. So this is a Renault, also it's Renoka. It's a 2001 Lexus. Are these available? I think it's available. But this baby blue with the white top, that's the one right there. A 96 Land Cruiser, that is a beautiful car. The San Diego Auto Museum is here, bringing some of their classic vehicles out of the museum. These are nice, look, we got some old school low riders here. What's this one here? A 63 Buick Riviera. My grandfather had one of these. We didn't look like this though, his was stock. But that's still very pretty. Chevy Impala, what year is it? I don't know what the year is. Uh, no sign up there, but I'm gonna go with a 62 or 63. That's a, still a pretty car. A 30 Ford, low top Roadster. They affectionately call it Miss Sassy. She certainly does look sassy. But look at that, oh, the cutaway, the low top, oh, uh, the shifter is all the way up there. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Got the white with the red. EV, oh my, it's electric? It's electric, I didn't even notice this at first. Look, it's got a huge frunk. It's an electric car. A modified classic Mustang, it's electric. That is amazing. That is pretty cool. And of course, he's got a National City Municipal Code sign, cruising prohibited. I, I've probably seen this car driving around Highland Avenue a few times. Don't tell, don't tell the wife, but here's the mistress. A 61 Chevy Impala. Look at the chrome mat on the inside. A 55 Bel Air Nomad two-door sports station wagon with some matching white walls. A 40 Pontiac, four-door touring sedan. Oh, these are pretty cool. These are actual uh, cars built by some of the students of both UCSD and my alma mater, SDSU. These are pretty cool. I'm sure some sort of engineering uh, class did this. Well, this is about as close as I want to ever get to a CHP vehicle. Oh, oh, see, see, I can touch it. It's not considered assault. Uh, I guess we're going to walk down to Electric Avenue. Because, of course, this is where they have a lot of the electric vehicles, all from the different manufacturers for you to check out, specifically just the electric ones. Oh, that's an interesting color here, this Cadillac. It's like a blue and then a green and then black at a certain point. Very nice. That is actually pretty cool, an electrified old Eurovan. That is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Obviously the, the battery has been put underneath here in his living situation. And got the plug-in right there. That's a pretty nifty conversion. Yep, look at that. There's all the guts and pieces of batter. That is pretty cool. All right, and there's my buddy Sweepy. So it is the first electric street sweeper now, what was cool about him is that they had a naming contest for him, uh, and Sweep E was the winner. I know there was one called a Sweepy McSweep Face and uh, some other funny names. I personally voted for Sweepy McSweep Face, but I guess Sweepy won in the end. Okay. So here is the test drive for Nissan. Like I said, it's the new Aria, which is their little all-electric SUV. And you can see the track is relatively simple. They just kind of take you up to there and then you get a little bit of a quick drag where they accelerate it pretty quickly down here and then back around. It's a really quick experience. And here are the qualifications to ride. Children must be eight years or older and 42 inches tall to ride. It probably takes longer to sign up than it does to actually take the uh, test drive itself. So it looks like we're gonna do a little bit of a drive, not too much, just a little up and down and then a little zigzaggy through the cones. 
So this is the Aria. It's our second all-electric vehicle with Nissan because the Leaf was first. These start at 43,000 go a little over 60. This one right here is dual motor all-wheel drive e-force. Uh, it does have 389 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. So we'll do a little torque here, get those tires going. Unfortunately, these cars are a little yeah. okay. slick, so they told us to be careful out here. We also have front wheel drive single motor as well with 238 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds. So smooth and quiet. There it is. There it is. And these are available already. And that's all she wrote. Well, that was a pretty cool little nifty test drive. There's one going on right now. They're weaving and wobbing through the cones. Definitely not a camp Jeep. Uh, but it gave a nice little feel for the vehicle. It does have a nice little pep to it, which is real nice. Is this worth uh, waiting a huge amount of a line for? Absolutely not. Luckily enough, the longest point of the whole thing was actually just signing up with the waiver release. That was honestly it. But that was a fun little, I don't know, what was it, like 30, 40 seconds worth of a little test drive? It was fun. SDPD here, the boys in blue. America's finest. Nice little SUV right there, got an old school vehicle this is probably from the 80s i would say it was as an old Rivi crown vic yep <laughs> oh and even older one here an old plymouth plymouth belvedere up oh, and of course that makes it oh adam 12. oh i used to love that show got some mobility vans here of course these are going to be vans that are for people who need them for various reasons usually physical uh, maybe they're in a wheelchair. Maybe they have uh, access needs getting into the vehicle. I actually used to work for a company that sold these types of vehicles for a little period of time. It was a very rewarding career helping families out who need these vehicles. Well, now we're going to check out the other half of the convention, the other side of the floor. This is where we're going to have Jeep as well. Again, Jeep is not making a big presence this year without being in Camp Jeep, but they still have a couple. They got a Wrangler. They got a Cherokee over there. We got Chrysler's as well. A few Dodges. Oh, here's that Dodge Hornet, which again has a terrible name, just like the Mustang Mach-E, because the Hornet was a supercar, or I should say a, a, a muscle car, and now it's got turned into a soccer mom SUV. I'm not a fan. Oh, this is a pretty one. And here we got exploring Camp Subaru. I had a cross trek at one point in time. Had it for a few years. It wasn't a bad little vehicle, but this one. It's so much beefier. I like the two-tone coloration, the blue and the gold right there. Subarus are not bad vehicles. Very nice. Great family vehicles and for those who like a little bit of adventure, but not too much. It's here at Subaru. Well, they're calling themselves, what are they calling? Camp Subaru. They're going to have some puppies over here for adoption. A little rescue center. So you actually as you sign up, scan a QR code. They're going to be able to interact and play with some lovely little guys that are probably available for adoption. This is something that Subaru has done, uh, you know, for quite a while. Where Subaru, you know, they actually have it where you can actually donate some of the money uh, from every new purchase of a vehicle. It actually goes to like a local foundation. There's different charities that they go to. But Subaru does a very good job when it comes to marketing for those who really care about animals. And today, we're going to check out some animals from the Animal Pad, which is a local uh, center here in San Diego, Animal Rescue. So these animals are available for adoption. Two little cuties over there. Oh, you see. Oh. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. Come here. Hi, buddy. Here we go. Oh, that's a oh, good boy. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Switching gears now into the people's wagon, the Volkswagen. We're going to say Guten Tag. The one that caught my eye over the one that caught my eye over here was the uh, electric bus, the ID. Now that not only the coloration is just so beautiful as well too. I love vehicles that have this like two-tone top, like the white top, 
or dark top and bottoms. Look at the seating inside. A little too vanny for my liking. I would definitely remove middle seat or back seats. But then look at that. This is a pretty vehicle. The coloration, everything about it, very nice, well done. So, you know, if you want to, this is a great place because obviously under one roof, you're going to have the ability to physically test these cars out. Maybe not get to drive them, but at least you get to feel it, see it, look at it. Is it what I'm expecting with the niceness? Maybe I'm looking for something a little bit more casual, a little bit fancier. It's a great opportunity. Um, and at these car shows, they always have some sort of like, usually like promo, like Volkswagen has a $500 auto show bonus. You buy a vehicle and you know, the auto show sent you, quote unquote, they'll usually give you like a sign up by email to a local dealer. You get some money back. That's free money right there. Just by, I mean, granted you gotta buy the vehicle, but that's still free money, a rebate essentially. Um, and a lot of the vendors are not doing promo items. They used to be able to give you like bags and brochures and catalog. Everything is QR code these days. Everything is digital. Um, but still, always ask to see what cashback. Some of them also give you like gas cars as well too. Next up, Hyundai. Look at these vehicles, they're very nice. Oh, this is really cool. With the lighting all the way across. That is, that's interesting. This key, this one caught my eye straight from the get go. That coloration is uh, interesting. It's neon from one side, bright yellow from the other. Got that light in the front. What is this? This is a Kona. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, the Kona is one of those vehicles. It's actually a nice little entry level car. Great for students, first time drivers. Beautiful vehicle. And it just looks really nice with all this color. Almost to the end. And normally I would save the best for last, but we're going to save it best to second last. And that is my company, Ford. This is my brand over here. Beautiful Ford right there. Hello, Henry Ford. How you doing? We got the Raptor F-150. Got some F-150s, America's best-selling full-size truck. The Maverick right over there. Of course, my beauty, the Bronco. They ended up bringing just a two-door in the forest green color. Which one is this one? This looks like a wild track. Ah, uh, yes, this is a wild track version. Got the Sasquatch package on it as well. Hard top, two-door. That's a beautiful car. Of course, you got the little baby Bronco. Replace the Escape. Beautiful four-door vehicles can handle quite a bit. Still beautiful. And a bright beauty red Ford Mustang. 5.0. This one. Oh yeah. The cockpit hasn't changed recently in many years. I do know that there's gonna be a redesign soon in a couple years for the new, uh, what would that be, the eighth gen uh, Mustang? So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's gonna look like. And if you are interested possibly in a Ford, come down to the booth if you come to the show. Get, sign up for a test drive and you receive a cash gift card, $50 gift card. And it's one of those where you go to the dealership, do a test drive, confirm it, they'll send you the gift card later. I've done it before in the past, so it's actually a pretty good deal. But now it's time for one last one and that's Toyota. Toyota has a very large footprint this year. I would say Toyota to my left and Chevy to my right have the two biggest footprints. And like they kind of, it looks like Toyota kind of separated their booth out into areas of like how the vehicles kind of compare or match each other. This is like family vehicles, they even theme it out with some family outings, the passenger vans, the three row seaters, stuff like that. Then they have some of the sportier vehicles, the coupes, the sedans, the ones that have a little bit of that pep, the oomph in them. Oh, and the electrics in the black with the blue. And then they're off-roading. And this year Toyota really went out with the off-roading because uh, I know in recent years they've been really competing the Toyota uh, for against the Broncos with Ford and Chevy's even up their game with off-roading. And the new taco trucks, those are pretty cool. We got this one, let's check out this one. This guy's got the the paint job to be. Let's go play looking like a football. Oh, well, that makes sense. NFL partnership right here on this vehicle. A TRD Pro. Ooh, look at the red leathering on this one. Now that is pretty. I like that a lot. Of course, this is the full size truck. The Tundra. Nice look to it. Here's another Tundra. But let's see, where's the where's the taco truck? The brand new taco. 
the Tacoma. It's really pretty. I'm not a big fan of this color. I do like the two-tone, the black top with this sand coffee caca color. I'm just gonna call it straight up what it is, what it looks like to me. I know it's supposed to be probably copper, but yeah, you see this is a prototype, which means technically everything on the inside is not 100% what it looks like. But from what I see, it does look pretty nice. Nice beefy wheels, the flares. Yeah, it's a pretty truck. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this quick trip around the convention center for the 2023 San Diego Auto Show. Hope you had a great time. I did watching and checking out the new cars and vehicles. Um, it's still a fun time, though I will admit it's gotten smaller in sizing. It doesn't have the same pizzazz as it used to be, but overall I still think you and your family would have a good time if you visit. So speaking of good times, if you had a good time watching this video, give it a big thumbs up. Second, subscribe to the channel. Third, hit the notification bell. Of course, make sure to follow me on social media at Big Red Journeys, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram for even more content. And of course, I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.